Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert the AutoCAD file to shape file in ArcMap. Now, as you can see that I have already loaded the shape file over here. And first of all, I'm going to check the properties of the shape file. Click on sources. You can see that it's already defined into shape files future classes. So for this tutorial, I'm going to convert the shape file to AutoCAD and after that, I will try to show you how to convert the AutoCAD file to shape file. So for that, simply right click over here, go to data, click on export to CAD and this is my existing master plan go to output type this is the version of AutoCAD I am selecting lower version over here then click on output file select your desired folder where you want to keep your file I am giving a name over here click on save after that click on ok ok the shape file has been converted from ssp to dwg and the layer has been added over here now i am removed from here Now go to your desired folder. This is my desired folder, and you can see that the file has been converted from shape file to AutoCAD file. Double click on over here, continue opening DWG file. Now you can see that the shape file has been converted from SSP to AutoCAD. Okay, now I will try to show you how to convert the AutoCAD file to SSP. For this tutorial, I am going to ArcMap, remove shape file from over here, go to catalog menu then go to this folder and drag and drop this file to the layer menu now simply click on pull line and right click over here then go to data go to export data then click on the data frame go to your desired folder where you want to keep your or save your shape file then select shape file and you can give a name over here i am giving a name over here as a zolshiri underscore shape file then click on save click on ok here ArcMap asks to you do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer yes i want to add a layer over here now remove the docker file from over here and you can see this is the shape file now i'm going to properties go to source file and you can see that this is the shape file future classes okay so that's about it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you would like to see more interesting of this tutorial i recommend it to you please subscribe my channel thank you and have a good day